welcome, my name is Eliza McCartney and I'm an Olympic pole vaulter. Today I'm going to be reading from Kindness, Courage and More Uplifting Stories. This story is brought to you by the Barford and Thompson Magic of Reading program. Since 2004, Barford and Thompson have delighted Starship children with over 52,000 gifted books with the help of the Starship Foundation. To help continue this and other wonderful programs for Starship kids, simply donate at starship.org.nz. The story I will be reading today is called The Problem with Geronimo. Geronimo was on the edge of the African jungle, munching on juicy leaves when he realised that he had been left behind. Again! Dreamy Geronimo always had his head in the clouds. After daydreaming, he looked around and he saw he was all alone. His family had carried on without him. He started to panic and wondered what direction to go in. Africa was a dangerous place for a lone giraffe. He noticed something slinking towards him. A lion! Geronimo was very scared because lions and giraffes were not good friends. Don't worry, Geronimo. I'm the king of the jungle but I'm also known as the King of Kindness. I know a way to find your family. Follow me. Geronimo decided to swallow his fears and trotted behind the lion. The jungle was a wild and noisy place. There was hooting and howling. Brightly coloured birds swooped and little creepy crawlies scuttled around him. Geronimo soon heard rushing water as they came across a raging river. Geronimo gulped when he saw they would have to cross the river. He couldn't swim. In the water, he saw large rocks, but they weren't rocks at all. They were wallowing hippos. One hippo poked his head out of the water. Don't worry, Geronimo. We might be large and lazy, but we make great stepping stones. Climb aboard. Following the lion's lead, Geronimo hopped and skipped across the hippos and got safely to the other side. The jungle was getting thicker and thicker when they trudged into a tangle of heavy knotted vines. Geronimo didn't have little fingers to untangle the vines. They were trapped. Geronimo and the lion heard giggling above them. They were being watched by three troublemaking monkeys. The lion roared at them to come down and help untangle the mess they were in. The monkeys were cheeky but clever and quickly untangled the vines and looped them up into the branches, clearing the way for Geronimo and the lion. They carried on until the jungle cleared. Geronimo's tired legs continued along a path, sending up billows of dust. At the end of the track, he nearly toppled over a mountain of rocks that blocked his way. He could go no further. Don't worry, Geronimo, I know who to call, said the lion. He roared until there was a loud thumping noise and they were joined by a herd of mighty elephants. You called? They asked. Geronimo told them all about their journey. Our trunks are strong and we can easily move the rocks for you. The elephants picked and flipped the rocks away like pebbles. Geronimo and the lion thanked them and continued on their journey until they found a dark and spooky cave in front of them. Geronimo's knees rattled together in fright. Don't give up, Geronimo. I will lead you. We are nearly there, said the lion. The cave was cold and wet, but glow worms lit up and showed them the way. They could see light at the end of the tunnel. As they got to the end, Geronimo saw what looked like tall, skinny trees with patches of moss all over them. But they weren't trees at all. He had popped out into the middle of his head. Geronimo's family were surprised to see him appear out of nowhere and asked where he had been. If only you knew, he sighed. He couldn't wait to tell them about the help he had received from the most unlikely of animals. He was glad he had trusted the lion. The end.